Hello and uh, welcome to another chart tutorial video. Um, so my name is Fouad and today I will be showing you how you can create a dumbbell chart in Tableau. Uh, so what exactly is a dumbbell chart? Um, so dumbbell charts are great at comparing two data points um, and also seeing the differences and ranges uh, between two data points. So the example I have here um, we have sales across each subcategory and within each subcategory we're comparing uh, two region. So the orange circles are the east region and the blue circles are the west region. So if we look at accessories we can see that um, the west has more sales than the east um, and if we scroll down to machines we can see that the east has more sales than the west. Um, but also we can see the ranges. So for example, tables has a very high range uh, between the two regions, whereas copiers has a much smaller range uh, between the two regions. Cool, so how do we create this chart? Um, so let's open up a new sheet. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to filter for the regions that I'm interested in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drag region into filter um, and just filter for east and west. Cool. And then what we wanted to do is compare the sales across each of these subcategories. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drag subcategory into rows and sales into columns. And I'm just going to make this entire view. Uh, so at the moment, we have the cells for both regions aggregated, um, but we want to see them individually. So we need to change the level of detail here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take region and drop that into detail. Cool. So now we have two bars, one for each uh, region, but we don't want bars. We want to create a dumbbell chart. So we want these to be circles. Uh, we can do that by going into the marks card um, and change this, this option to a circle. OK, great. Um, but at the moment, we can't distinguish between what's east and west um, easily without having to hover over. Um, so what I would do is also put region into color. Cool. So now we can see which ones are east and which ones are west. Um, and the final thing that we need to do is to add our line to connect our two points together. So first I'm just going to make these circles a little bit bigger. Um, <clears throat> and to add our line, what we need to do is duplicate our cells field. So if you control left click and drag it to the right, this will duplicate your field and then from here, we can create a dual axis. So if you left click on the drop down option, uh, you should have an option to create a dual axis. Um, and then here, make sure you also synchronize your axis. So edit your axis by right clicking and this option here to synchronize axis. Um, so we don't need both of these axes. Um, we can remove the top one. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click uh, and remove the option to show head up. Okay, cool. So we're almost there. We just need to add our line. Um, so what we can do is use our second field here um, and change this to a line instead of a circle. Um, however, the lines aren't connected the way we want. So we want um, the lines to be connected to the regions. Uh, so what we can do is we can drag region into path. Okay, cool. So uh, we don't need the color here either. So I'm just going to remove the color from the line. Um, and also we see that the line is kind of overlapping the circles, um, but I think it looks better if it's the other way around. Um, so what you can do is just switch these two fields uh, around and that should uh, bring the circles to the front. Okay, perfect. Um, so that is pretty much our dumbbell charts. Um, one thing that people like to do is kind of mess around with the size um, of the line. Um, so if you adjust the size, um, so you obviously can make it smaller, uh, but the other technique that people like to use is if you increase that a little bit, um, people also like to use this kind of design uh, where the line is a little bit thicker um, and maybe you can also lower the opacity a little bit. Um, so this is another way uh, you can 
create your dumbbell charts if you prefer um, but they obviously both kind of do the same thing um, it's just up to you how you prefer to do it okay great so that is how you create a dumbbell chart uh, thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it um, feel free to subscribe to our channel for more content um, also if you enjoyed this video i would recommend checking out my colleagues uh, video on how to build a uh, waffle chart um, by Alessandro.